We welcome Dr. Darian Sutton here. Of course, he's in for Dr. Jen Ashton. And we are tracking the day's major developments and keeping an eye on this big number five. That's the number of states reporting more new COVID-19 cases now than at any other point in the pandemic. Those states are Florida, New York, New Jersey, Delaware, and Massachusetts. Okay, Dr. Sutton, we know the incubation period of COVID-19 is estimated to be at least five days, right? But the CDC has released a new report yesterday suggesting that with Omicron, it may be as short as three days. Yeah. Talk us through this. Why is this so significant? So it's significant because it really mandates or, excuse me, indicates what is the recommendation for quarantine. So right now, as you said, from the information that we have, the minimum amount of time from incubation, meaning from exposure to the onset of symptoms, was around five days. And that was from all the information preceding the Omicron. Variant. And now we're getting inklings of information that might mean that the incubation time for this new variant is shorter. And they basically released a study of a cluster of patients, six patients associated to one traveler and their five household contacts. And unfortunately, that traveler was infected with the Omicron variant and transmitted it to all five of those household contacts. And they all reported symptoms within three days. Wow. And so it gives us some signal. It's not, of course, a lot of information, but some signal that it's possible that the incubation period is small. And, and Dr. Sutton, as we're hearing about all of these cases of Omicron, a lot of us know people who have had breakthrough cases. We're yes. hearing a lot about breakthrough cases. We're now hearing that the Omicron variant is three times more likely to cause reinfection compared to Delta. Do we know why that is? You know, I sit in a lot of science meetings in my free time. That sounds sad. That yeah. I'm <laughs> Um, and listen to a lot of epidemiologists and scientists kind of go through and postulate about why this happens. And it comes down to a couple of reasons. Number one, is the variant better at evading or sneaking around our immune system? Number two, are all of our antibodies waning with time? Uh, number three, is the virus better at that lock and key? The virus uses that spike protein to access the ACE2 receptor on our cells and invade and infect. And then another, another thing is, is the virus better simply at replicating at a faster rate, therefore not allowing our immune system to keep up? And to be honest with you, it's probably a combination of all of these reasons, but they haven't pinpointed exactly why. Good to know. Glad you're here to walk us through yeah. all of this. I don't know about how your weekends are sitting listening <laughs> to these epidemiologists, but we appreciate some hobbies. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll, I'll pick some up soon. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.